So the headline in Politico reads, the Democratic brand is broken. The infrastructure bill isn't fixing it. Focus groups finding voters don't know what the party stands for. So is the left in trouble. Democratic strategist Kelly Hyman and Inez Stepman from the Independent Women's Forum joins me. So, Inez, I want to talk to you first about this image that the White House pool has put out. You know, it gets this backdrop. The pool, polls are showing Americans very concerned about inflation. Here's the president at Nantucket at a billionaire's home. The White House pool released this photo of him laughing it up with the Today Show. You know, uh, that hutch is very expensive. Uh, you know, I had a hutch bro broken. I can't afford something like that. Is this something that the American people are looking at? And there's a disconnect in the message that's going on here with their hardships and what's happening with the White House and the president. Absolutely. Um, the White House has definitely downplayed inflation as a concern. We have folks on the left saying that it's it's actually only a concern for rich people, which is somewhat the opposite um, of the reality. And people are definitely feeling supply chain shortages and all of that. But the bottom line of why I think the Democratic brand is so tarnished this election season, and you saw it in moderate Virginia, which went for Joe Biden by 10 points, is that the Democrats are associated with their extreme cultural positions on things like critical race theory in K-12 schools um, and, and other cultural issues, and they cannot get out from that brand, even with people who agree with, for example, some of their spending packages that they're trying to move through Congress. So, Kelly, I wanted to ask you, the Democrats have tried the strategy of tying Republicans to for the former president. Uh, it didn't work in Virginia. Um, you know, as you're looking out to the next midterm elections, uh, you know, are people looking and saying, hey, well, maybe that other guy wasn't so bad? We're seeing inflation and uh, the problems at the border, as well as Afghanistan, the pullout there. I don't think people are going to say that. I think people are going to see what the president has done for them and how they've helped the American people. I think it's important to remember that he passed the COVID relief that happened, that Americans supported, a majority of Americans supported that, and that is key, and the infrastructure bill. Now, we have to remember the former president, Trump, tried to get the infrastructure bill passed, which was very similar, and he wasn't successful in that. And that's why it's really important for people to understand what Biden has done for the American people. But, Kelly, you look at the polling, uh, you know, and 59 percent are saying the economy is going the wrong direction. How does the president turn this perception around then? Well, that's a really good point. And I, I think, it, as, as you know, there's a with polls, they're not always accurate and there's some difference in the polls. But I think it's important the Build Back Better Act is, becomes law. And so people understand to help people with Medicare and so they can get hearing aids that are that are covered yeah, and to help you know, we, and, families. And we, yeah, Kelly, we've heard that from the White House. They bring costs down. And as I want to bring you in on this, um, you know, they're saying you spend a little bit more in the next social infrastructure package, you'll lower costs. But you think those inflation is really going to go down in the last 30 seconds? No, I don't think inflation is going to go down because we're going to pour trillions of dollars more of government spending into the economy. If anything, it's going to have the opposite effect. But again, um, this is the attempt of the White House to focus even on this messaging that Americans know is not coinciding with what they're actually experiencing in grocery stores. Um, and, and again, couple that with sort of a, a woke cultural platform. And that's not something that even um, folks in the moderate camp or, or even some Democrats are, right. are really comfortable or feel so good Kelly, about. Kelly, Inez, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. This, Unfortunately, the commercials come up.